today the bookworms are going to be reading It's a Good Thing There Are Earthworms by Jody Shepard. It's a good thing. Some people think earthworms are just garden pests. Others think that these creepy crawlies are just plain yucky. But it's a good thing there are earthworms. Earthworms help plants grow as they tunnel through dirt. As they dig, the earthworms eat dead plants, seeds, roots, leaves, and dirt. They turn them into waste called pellets. Pellets make the soil extra healthy. Fun fact! Earthworms eat only pointy leaves. No one knows why. The earthworms tunnels loosen the soil. Air and water come into the loose soil and help plants grow. Earthworms are also food for birds, frogs, and other animals. A robin feeds a worm to her chicks. Earthworm bodies. Earthworms have no bones and no legs. These useful critters get around by wiggling. Special rings around their bodies let them wiggle and move. The rings on this worm's body help it move. To move, first the worms stretch out long and thin. Then they squeeze up short and fat. Bristles on their bodies help them grip the soil as they crawl. Can you wiggle like an earthworm? An earthworm repeats a two-step process to move. Earthworms have tiny brains. They have no eyes and no ears. They do not have lungs either. They breathe in air through their skin. Earthworms have mouths but no teeth. Look for the end of the worm that's wider. That's where the mouth is. Can you guess where this earthworm's mouth is? Gooey mucus covers the earthworms. It keeps their skin moist. It also helps them slide through the soil. Shiny mucus keeps this earthworm healthy. Where do earthworms live? Earthworms can live almost anywhere in the world, except where the gr ground is too dry or too frozen. Earthworms live in underground burrows. Fun fact! In winter, earthworms sleep or hibernate deep underground. Watch the ground after it rains. You may see lots of earthworms because the ground is wet. Usually, it is hard for them to be above ground. The sun is too strong. It may dry them out. As soon as the ground dries, this earthworm will go back underground. More and more earthworms! Earthworms come above ground to mate, too. There are no male or female worms. Each worm is both male and female. But you still need two worms to make babies. After the worms mate, they lay eggs. They use mucus to make a cocoon. The cocoon covers the egg and keeps them safe inside. When baby, worm, when baby worms hatch, they are tiny and white. Then their skins turn dark. They are ready to get to work in the garden. Earthworms' eggs are tiny. Now you know these hard-working garden critters help us in many ways. It's a good thing there are earthworms. Earthworms are good for making soil healthy, helping plants grow, providing food for animals like birds and frogs, creature feature fun. When an earthworm is cut into two, it may be able to regenerate or grow a new head or tail. Most earthworms are small. One of the largest earthworms is the giant Gippsland earthworm. It lives in Australia and is 3 feet 0 0.9 meters long. In some countries, people eat earthworms and like them. There are thousands of different kinds of earthworms, including red wrigglers, right, and night crawlers, which are used for fishing bait. Riddles! Question. What do you get if you cross a worm with an elephant? Answer. Very big holes in your garden. Question 2. How can you tell which end of a worm is which? Tickle in the middle and see which end laughs. Well, these riddles were funny. Creature feature fun. 
Which habitat is right for earthworms? The answer is A. A garden is the perfect spot for earthworms to tunnel through the soil. Be a friend to earthworms. Next time you see an earthworm on a sidewalk or driveway, do it a favor and move it to a shady spot. Ask an adult to help you pick up the worm very gently and place it in the grass, preferably under a tree or a bush. Then it can safely tunnel its way back down into the soil. Glossary. Bristles. Stiff hairs on an earthworm's body that help it grip the soil. Burrows. Underground tunnels in which earthworms live. Cocoon. Covering made to protect eggs. Mucus. Gooey liquid that covers an earthworm's body. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new about earthworms. Bye.